Well, what does Easter mean to me? I love Easter. It's my favourite time of the year. I love the brighter nights and the fact that you can go for nice walks, longer walks. I love the brighter mornings. Um, normally, people are off for a wee break. The daffodils are out. Sometimes we get good weather. We can take wee drives up the coast. Maybe not this year, but normally that's what people do at Easter. We enjoy the scenery of Northern Ireland. And of course, the chocolate that's about at Easter. Especially with a four-year-old eggs galore in the house. But I love Easter now more than ever. Because of what Jesus did for me. And it seems as the years just go on, you just appreciate Easter even more. And it's this Easter time that we can take this time to remember this. We all know the Christmas story, how Jesus came as a baby. But what is Easter all about? It says in Mark that how he prepared his disciples for what was going to happen. And then it all came to pass. It says he was arrested for saying and believing who he was. He was claiming to be the Son of God. This is what Easter is all about. So here we are next Friday. It's known as Good Friday. And I want to challenge you or encourage you. What do you normally do at 9am on a Friday morning? Have a wee think. What do you do at 9am on a Friday morning? I would normally be sitting at my desk and work getting ready for the day ahead. But imagine it's 9am and you've just been nailed to a cross. Or you've just watched somebody be nailed to a cross. What would your feelings be? Well, this is what happened over 2,000 years ago. He, Jesus, went to the cross for us. It says that he hung there for six hours. What pain that he went through. I couldn't go through pain for six seconds. Never mind for six hours. He went through it in every way for me and for you. All to make a way for us. He took the punishment for our sin. He suffered, he bled and he died. What would you be doing at 12 noon on a Friday? Well, I would normally be coming back from lunch and about to help out with a class of P1s. A class of four and five year olds. Now imagine them P1s looking out the window and it's pitch black. I know that they would be scared because it shouldn't be dark at that time. It should only get dark at night time, as they say. But the Bible says darkness covered the land from 12 o'clock until 3 o'clock. Wow, if I didn't believe then, I think I would believe. If I didn't believe before darkness hit the land, I think I would believe then when I saw the darkness. God was showing us who he was. At 3 p.m. it says that he breathed his last. Is that it? Is that the end of Jesus? It says that they took him away and they put him in a tomb and they put a large stone against the door and the Roman soldiers were guarding it. No, hallelujah, because it says on the third day he arose from the dead. This same power is in me. He told people to spread this message that he is alive. And this is the bit that I found amazing. So he said, go and tell others that I'm alive. Go and spread this good news. <clears throat> And all those years later, somebody told me, somebody told me that Jesus is alive. And I believed as a child, I believed that Jesus was alive. I believed that he died on the cross for me. That's how simple Jesus made it, that a child can believe. And I'm still believing. I put my trust in what Jesus did for me. I knew that I was a sinner and that I needed him to save me. And praise God over the years that my family and my friends have heard this message too. And a lot of them have believed too. Some of them have even went on and they've met Jesus. And you know what? I'll see them again. This is why I love Easter. It gives me hope. It gives me a chance to remind myself what life is all about. It gives me a chance to remind myself what Jesus did for me. To renew my faith. It gives me a chance to tell others about this message and to get them ready for eternity too. So, what do you think about when you think of Easter? I pray that you think about this and I'll give you hope.